Hello, in this video, the ultimate basics on Japanese is wa and ga. Number one question when you learn Japanese, when do I use wa? When do I use ga? Number one answer to this question is, well, it's so difficult, I won't explain it at all. At least in my experience. Or I just heard another explanation, well, ga is a subject marker and wa is a topic marker. But I don't want to stretch the introduction, let's start going. First thing I figure out by myself, imagine the sentence Frank is driving the car, totally valid sentence. Imagine you want to write it more bullet point like, then you would say Frank driving the car. You don't even need a point at the end or a full stop. And in English you could actually write everything in this bullet point style. Why is it useful? Because you immediately see, okay, it's about the Frank and what is what is it about? It's about he's driving the car. So you have this these two information split up with the colon. You could also say, I drive, no, I want to write, I drink. You could change it to I colon drink again. What's the good point in here is you see immediately, ah, it's about me, okay? And what wh what is it? It's about I'm drinking. Uh, so I'm drinking. Um, difficult to explain that actually, this sentence is too short. I hope you get the idea anyway. Um, so what the Japanese people said is, well, um, why actually use this kind of structure at all? Um, they just said, okay, we always use the colon style. So Japan the Japanese language is built on this colon style. But they thought, ah, colon mm, doesn't look pretty nice. It looks like two eyes. We want to have a word for that or a letter. So they use wa instead. So every time when you write this bullet, bullet point style and you would use these colons, then instead just use wa in Japanese. And let's make a small sentence. Watashi wa mizu wo nomu. You could also say, okay, well, like in English, we just remove the wa and we replace it with colons. So when you make a Japanese sentence, then you always try to figure out where is the colon, where would the colon be, and then just replace it with the wa. And that's basically like the English one, right? Okay, that's the first important point. Let's go to the second, like, slightly connected thing. When you make sentences, you always want to match the thing that is standing before the wa with whatever comes at the end. So, watashi wa something nomu, or watashi wa something or somewhere go. It's the same in English, you would say I drink or I go somewhere, I drink something, right? So, you always in English want to match this one with this one, this one with this one. In Japanese, it just so happens that the verb goes at the end of the sentence, very unfortunate for us, but the logic is the same. So, you have this one. And this has to match this one. If this one doesn't match this one, then the wa is probably in the wrong position, and uh, yeah, in the wrong place. So important is this one has to match this because it's before the wa, right? Hope that was clear. Okay, but what do we do if we have this sentence? There's no wa in this sentence, right? Right? Kare ga itta no omita. Hmm. I hope you see that this is actually an inner sentence, and there's a hidden watashi or maybe kare or whatever, probably in this situation watashi wa, is here hidden. And this also matches again this at the end. Therefore, it makes perfect sense. And that's a good point. Japanese people, well, if you think of that colon style, Japanese people always or very often don't say this thing at the beginning. Uh, why is that so? And if you really go into the colon culture or in the chat-like culture, then it really gets clear what's happening actually. When you make bullet points, you say, I, for example, drink, let's say, water, or I go to the park, or I, let's make it bullet points, or I travel. Would be very stupid if you would it would do it like this, right? I, that really, think of the bullet point, right? I drink water. Makes no sense not do it here anyway. You would do it in like one row before that, say I, and then drink water, go to the park and travel. Makes no sense putting it here. Having three I's here makes no sense. So this looks very ridiculous. So let's erase that actually. And this makes much more sense. The topic is me. I drink water, go to the park, travel. Maybe maybe that's, if you think that's a bad example, let's think of like this. You're writing an essay and you say, you say positive points and then pop. This is a positive point, this is a positive point, this is a positive point, and you have negative points. And then you have a negative point and another negative point. You would never write positive point and then a bullet point and write your point. And then again, positive point, 
bullet point and then your point. No, this looks ridiculous. So what you do is you just write it once and then you have all the bullet points here because it's clear, obvious that all these refer to this one that has the colon, right? So very clear. And in Japanese, it's perfectly the same because they have the bullet point culture, right? They say watashi wa and then mizu o nonda, koen ni ita, went to the park. As long as this thing doesn't change, they don't need to repeat it. Erasing that for the sake of Japanese, for the sake of English. Uh, and then suddenly this thing before the colon changes and it says you drink water or you travel, right? So always only when this changes, you put it in. And that's the way Japanese people think. Just think of it like this and then it makes more sense to you, maybe. It makes more sense to me. Okay, and that's this point. Sorry, I was a little bit long. It's hard to explain this stuff in English, actually. Let's go to my last example. Now everything what I just explained seemed like uh, mixed up. Let's read this. Ojisan to obaasan ga ita. Ojisan wa mizu o nonda. Let's first make this sentence here a little bit easier. I just use it in this way because it's a very famous sentence. Maybe you're laughing. Okay, ojisan ga ita. Ojisan wa mizu o nonda. Hmm, actually there is no hidden wa thing in here. But this is the thing that should be before the wa. But it is a ga. And this perf this sentence is perfectly fine. Ojisan ita. Ojisan mizononda. If you go to the colon style, back to the colon style, ojisan colon ita. Ojisan colon mizononda. So what is the difference? Why do you use ga and why do you use wa? It's actually pretty easy when someone tells you. In English you would say, let's call it guy, not a grandfather. You would say there was a guy and the guy drank water. Oh, water. Okay. The important point in English is that you also make the difference. You say, when you introduce something, you say, uh, there was a guy. You don't say, there was the guy. I mean, in some situations, but not in this situation. It makes a diff it's a different meaning. So when you introduce something, then you use a. Uh. When you take talk about what you introduced, then you use the. Uh, for example, imagine, <laughs> yeah, a purple apple. You would say, there is an apple on the table. The apple is purple. So you introduce with a or in and you talk about it as the. And that's the same in Japanese. This ga is just the representation of the English a and this wa is just the repre representation of the English the. And that's another very important point when you're referring to wa and ga. And that's it actually for the video. I want to make sure though that you understand that this is just the basics. Of course there is like there are books written about wa and ga and even Japanese people don't really know how to use it. They just make it out of the feeling. They are making a lot of mistakes. Nobody can explain it. So it's really it, it really is a difficult topic, but this is I would say the basic structure that helps me in 85% or maybe even 90% of all cases. If you're making a sentence yourself and it's getting very long and you're not sure is it wa is it ga? then just split it up in smaller sentences. If you're not sure if it wa or ga, then maybe this is an indicator that your sentence is too long. And then it's even harder for Japanese people to understand. I experienced that also Japanese people have difficulties like we European people or American people, I don't know, having difficulties with longer sentences. But that's not point. Not, 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 blah. Okay, really, okay, speaking is totally difficult. I should stop making this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them in the comments. I hope this video helped.